Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 12th. April 12th is the 102nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 103rd in leap years, with 263 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is bibliophilia. Bibliophilia is the love of books. This word comes to us from Greek words that mean book and love. I'd like to take a moment to remind you that links to my research are included in the show notes and ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure and stay to the end for those outtakes and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember that you can share this video with others using a link in an email or through your social media. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1633 when Galileo was convicted of heresy on April 12, 1633. This was not his first run-in with the church. In 1616, he had been forbidden from holding or defending the belief that the sun is the center of the world and that it does not move from east to west and that the earth does move and is not the center of the world. He tried to defend himself this time by saying that he didn't hold these beliefs, but was simply writing about the issue and evidence as a means of discussion rather than belief. The church didn't buy it, though. They uh, convicted him of heresy. Galileo agreed not to teach the heresy anymore and spent the rest of his life under house arrest. In 1767, the British government had passed a law called the Townsend Act. Just another in a series of tax acts, the Townsend Act required Americans to purchase certain items from Britain and then charge them import taxes on those items. Today's news, however, is that on April 12, 1778, the British government repealed most of the taxes that had been imposed by the Townsend Act. They did leave the tax on tea, though. American author Beverly Cleary was born on April 12, 1916. She wrote many children's books featuring such memorable characters as Ramona Quimby and Beezus Quimby, Henry Huggins and his dog Ribsy, and Ralph S. Mouse. I didn't know until today's research that she also wrote a book called Leave It to Beaver, I'm saddened to report that Mrs. Cleary passed away not long ago, on March 25th of 2021, at the age of 104. This is the birthday of American singer and ukulele player Tiny Tim, <laughs> born April 12th, 1932. He lived to the age of 64. On April 12th, 1927, the third deadliest tornado in Texas history occurred, when an F5 tornado hit Rock Springs, Texas. 72 townspeople lost their lives, 205 were injured, and 235 of the 247 buildings in town were destroyed. President Franklin D. Roosevelt died in office on April 12, 1945. This is the birthday of American actor and comedian Ed O'Neill, born April 12, 1946. He's had several notable parts, but I remember him for his portrayal of Al Bundy on the TV show Married with Children. <laughs> American historian and author Tom Clancy was born April 12, 1947. He wrote a number of page-turner books that were also made into movies, like The Hunt for Red October, Patriot Games, and the Jack Ryan books. Sadly, he passed away in 2013 at the age of 66. Bill Haley and the Comets recorded Rock Around the Clock on April 12, 1954. The polio vaccine developed by Dr. Jonas Salk was declared safe and effective on April 12, 1955. This is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and guitarist, and Oklahoma native Vince Gill. Born April 12, 1957. What a sweet voice that guy has. Other notable birthdays on April 12th include David Letterman, David Cassidy, Pat Travers, Andy Garcia, and Tulsi Gabbard. All born in various years, of course, and most of them still alive. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space, first man in orbital flight on April 12, 1961. 
On April 12, 1981, the Space Shuttle Columbia was launched for the first time. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure and stay to the outtakes. <laughs> Images are retrieved from Bing Images, either public domain or licensed free to use and share. I think the correct terminology is free to share and use. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from YouTube Music Library, and there's a link to his channel in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And remember that you can share this video with others with the link in your email messaging or social media. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. On April 12th, 1927, of course it was the 12th, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, do that again. We'll do that in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>